Yes. 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 There's more salad. Another salad recipe. Because it's fall and there's new things in season. And that means it's time to eat persimmons and pomegranates. And what better time to eat salad than when you're filling the rest of your stomach with super rich foods. <laughs> Keep your plate balanced with a beautiful salad that is sure to have all of your friends and family chasing you down for the recipe. I'll be honest with you. I didn't know what a persimmon was until I was about 24 years old. I mean, I grew up in Southern California, so there must have been persimmons. I don't know, I wasn't a very adventurous child. Fast forward to adult me, who's all about eating and trying new foods. Persimmons were quite a life-changing experience. Persimmons are believed to have originated in the mountains of southern China, and it's a fruit that has been cultivated in China, Korea, and Japan for centuries. There are two main varietals, the kachia, sometimes referred to as the heart-shaped persimmon, and that one is really only edible when it is so ripe that it's literally falling into mush in your hand. Then there is the fuyu. This can be eaten when it is still hard and the texture is kind of similar to that of an apple or a pear. This is the one that you want for your salad. We will begin our cooking adventure by toasting some walnuts or you can buy them pre-toasted. That is up to you. I baked mine on 325 for about 12 minutes. Let's make a dressing. Grate some garlic, add in some high quality olive oil. If you've seen literally any of my other salad making videos, this part will seem pretty familiar to you. Slash in some sherry or red wine vinegar. You know I love my crema balsamico, but you could do balsamic vinegar if you'd like. And to this, I snuck in a whisper of mustard. I would have used more, but Tom, my partner hates mustard, and this is just about as much as I can sneak in without him realizing. Don't tell. Whisk it all up, taste as you go, and find the flavors that you like. Watch my how to build a salad video for more precise measurements. Grab some kale, preferably dino, which also goes by the names Tuscan and Lachinado. Rip the leaves off of the spines and then thinly slice into ribbons. We are going to marinate this kale with half of our salad dressing. Give it a nice massage and put it to the side. Don't forget to salt and pepper it as well. For the slicing of the persimmons, lop off the top and get to slicing. A mandolin will be extremely useful here. We want to get consistent, perfectly thin slices. One of the great things about persimmons is that they have this beautiful star shape if you slice them this way, and that is what we are looking to reveal. Be very careful of your fingers when you get to the end. Or maybe just stop while you're ahead. Don't say I didn't warn you. Of course, you don't have to cut it this way. You could do cubes or something. It's all mostly for presentation, but believe me, it's worth it to see your relatives gobsmacked faces when you show up with this to the holiday party. Gobsmacked. I feel like I'm in a rolled doll novel. Yippee! Once your walnuts have cooled, Give them a nice rough chop. You can either purchase your pomegranate seeds hulled, or you can struggle through the beautiful mess of taking that pomegranate apart yourself. You will also need some crumbly goat cheese or feta. And now we plate. I recommend doing this in layers, especially if you are doing a larger format salad. The salad I made here could feed two to four people. 
How I recommend plating it is not exactly what I was doing in the video because I was playing around with it. Ideally though, you want to have a layer of persimmons, kale, toppings, more persimmons, more toppings. However, I started off by putting the kale down and then putting the persimmons on top, realizing that I had too many persimmons and didn't want to hide all of the kale, so I slid them below the kale as well and then dispersed my toppings on top but also kind of tucked them inside. It's really about making sure that each ingredient gets to shine without overshadowing the persimmons which you really want to make sure you can see, especially that beautiful star shape, but also you don't want them to look too regimented on the plate either. Go for an organic, rustic, glamorous look, you know? When you are happy with how everything looks and it's time to eat, go ahead and drizzle the rest of your dressing on top. Give it a little bit more salt and pepper, and you are ready to serve. Wow. Give a round of applause, and maybe this video a thumbs up for that gorgeous showstopper. Please go ahead and pass this video along to your friends and family after you've impressed them with this recipe, or even before that, just share it with them anyway. And feel free to buy me a coffee in the link below if you would like to support the content. I hope you all have a wonderful holiday season, and I will see you in the next one. Tom, are your relatives going to be impressed by my showstopper? I'd say it's wow worthy. Is it? Is it wow worthy? And that's what you're doing. You're clapping and wowing. You heard it here first. Wow worthy.